I'm going to describe our elements on the piece of art of Nan Watson. Watson's painting is called Fruit and Red Ball. He made his painting using oil on canvas. In the 1900s, he created this painting that to get more in depth of our elements, I'm gonna tell you what I find on this painting. First, I found in blue line. In blue line is a line that doesn't exist. In the painting, you can see it all over the place. Every object make in blue line. I'm gonna give you some examples of in blue line that are on the painting. Some of them, it is a table with the background or wall. They are make the table is making in blue line. The stripes on the ball, they are in blue line because they are red and white and red and white. There is a part in there, but if you erase the red one or the white one, there's not gonna be a line as you see. Next one, extra line. Extra line, I saw it in the jar in the right side. The jar has the signs that they are lines. They are actual lines because they are made. There are a design on it. Contour line, I found it on the horse. I'm not pretty sure, but I found it on the horse. They make the horse look more delineated too. Shading, it is all over the painting because it's making the illusion of 3D. Next, it is organic shapes in this painting. We don't see a shape that has angles like a rectangle and a square, nothing of that. Overlapping, it is when one object is in front of other object and it is covering some of the part of the other up in the back. In the right side, you see the jar appear in a cup. They are making overlapping. You see part of them, but not all of the object. In front of the bowl, you see up two apples and grapes. They are making overlapping because one in front is in front of the other. And your left side also, they, they, it, there it is overlapping. Because you can see all the things one in front of the other that is overlapping. The balance in this picture, it is asymmetrical. Because because if you put a line in the middle, you're not gonna be seeing the same thing in both sides. They are different. This painting has proportion because it's what we see in real life. The fruit is like we see in real life when we have it in our hands. I found the focal point, the ball. That is the focal point of the part, the painting. The temperature of this painting, I was debating about if it was warm. Or, or cool, but definitely it's war. You see a lot of oranges and yellows. And this concludes my describing of this painting. That's what I found. I'm going to describe our elements on the piece of art of Nan Watson. Watson's painting is called Fruit and Red Ball. He made his painting using oil on canvas. In the 1900s, he created this painting that to get more in depth.